Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I have the long-awaited Sephora haul and by long-awaited I mean long-awaited by me. <laughs> this is my box. I finally got all my shipments. I placed two orders on Sephora's website for their VIB sale that they had last month and I finally got all my products this month. Oh, if you didn't know Sephora has three tiers. They have the base level which is like 10% off during the sale, 15% off for the middle level and 20% off for the rouge level which is the top tier. I used to be rouge but I can't imagine spending the amount that they want you to spend in a year on makeup so I'm fine with my VIB 15% off. Also excuse my nails we are in quarantine I had to take my acrylics off so they're looking a little crazy. Excuse my hair it's a little dirty we're just rolling with the punches and we're gonna dive into the makeup because that's probably why you're here in the first place so starting off with the first thing i guess i'll start off with skin care and hair care and then we'll get into the makeup which is the best part the first thing i picked up was this pharmacy daily greens oil free gel moisturizer first of all this packaging is so cute like the little papayas on it oh and it's green one of my favorite colors love that this is targeted for people with oily skin like myself i have like dry or like normal to oily like combo skin um in the winter i get pretty dry so i use like a thicker cream during the winter time but in the summer as we're approaching now in new york city um my skin definitely leans more towards the oilier side so this is the packaging and then this is how it looks on the inside it's like a really pretty mint green color and it smells so good I haven't used it yet because I'm already using my Belief Cream Moisturizer, which if you know me, you know that I swear by that stuff. Um, and I don't want to like shock my skin because I've been taking antibiotics to clear my acne. So I'm just taking everything kind of in step-by-step -step motion just so that my skin could get used to, n to the new products that I'm introducing to it. This retails for $38. The next thing I purchased was the Moroccan Oil Hydration Intense Hydrating Mask just looks like this this is just like a little deluxe sample size i guess you can say this was seven dollars and i purchased this because if you guys know me from before youtube i went through crazy stages with my hair color i had very blonde and then i went to gray which is my all-time favorite hair color on me now back to black so my hair has been through the ringer a bit i have noticed some breakage going on in my hair so i want to find ways to repair my hair strength so that it doesn't easily break when I'm like playing with it or when I'm brushing it. So hopefully this will be a good mask to use on my hair. The next thing I picked up was this Briogeo Don't Re Don't Despair Repair Strengthening Treatment Oil. This retails for $30. This was a new product. I'm just going to show you guys without blinding you. It's really pretty pink packaging. And this is how the bottle looks. It has a rose inside it's so pretty it's a little small it has one fluid ounce but it's a hair oil so it's not like you're gonna be douse dousing your whole head with it but it smells so good I just got this in the mail today so I haven't been able to try it out but it smells so good also like I said since my packages came in four basically I was able to try some of these products so those products that I did try I I will tell you guys my initial thoughts and let you guys know what I think about them as I've been using them throughout the past week or so. The next thing I purchased was this Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Bronzer and this is in the color 03 Bronze. This is how the box looks. It's just a brown box. And then the compact looks like this. It has a nice mirror on the inside. And then this is the product itself. This color, it looks matte and it is matte, but I feel like it still has like a beautiful sheen to it, which I'm excited about. So I'm just gonna swatch it for you guys. That's it right there. I feel like this shade is perfect. It may look like it's a little too light for me, but I prefer that because I feel I can control the bronzer as I'm putting it on my skin. So I get to control how bronzy I want my skin to look or if I just want like a light bronze. So I'm excited to try that. That retails for $44. The next thing I picked up, this is going on with bronzers. This dropped the day that I placed my order and I am so excited that I was able to catch it. This is Fenty's new Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer. So this is just the packaging. I got mine in the shade Macchiato. I don't know if you guys can see that. You probably can. 
ignore that. So this is how it looks. Now this is one of the products that I was able to use, which is why it kind of looks a little beat up there. It has a decent size, a very big mirror actually. But like I said, this is in the shade Macchiato. I'm gonna give you guys a swatch. It feels really nice. I'm not a big cream person since I have pretty oily skin. But while my skin was a little on the drier side I and my skin is clearing up, I have been more interested in trying out these products, like cream products. So that's why you're going to notice like a trend in what I've been picking up lately. So this is a swatch of it right here. It's definitely darker than the Laura Mercier bronzer. Now, when I bought this bronzer, I didn't know if I wanted more of a bronzer or a contour, but this seemed safer. So I got this. Um, is beautiful. I do enjoy this product. I like using a brush that I will show you guys later with it to just kind of like buff it on and it gives you such a beautiful like sun-kissed glow. Like that's how I can describe it. I do want to try out Huda Beauty's contour, a uh, cream contour. I'm, I forgot what it's called. Uh, that one seems it inches more on like the cooler side which is kind of what I'm looking for so I can really chisel out my cheekbones i mean i do have the macchiato bronzer on today and i think it did a great job but i want more of like a cooler tone to really like carve out them cheekbones the next thing i picked up was a highlighter this is from dior this is the the dior nude luminizer in the shade one nude glow so this is one of my first high-end purchases i do have the natasha denona gold palette so i guess I don't know if you consider that like well it's high-end but this is more like luxury I guess you can say it comes in like a beautiful velvet uh, packaging and the compact on the inside is just so pretty it's silver a very nice mid-sized mirror and then this is the product I did get this last week so I have been using it and I do really like it. This retails for $48 which is so pricey for a highlighter. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys. This is it right there. I hope the light is good. I'm still playing around with the backgrounds and with the lighting so sorry if it's not good right now. Hopefully it will get better. Following on the Fenty train, I guess we can say, this is the Fenty Cheek Style Freestyle Cream Blush. Now these launched the same time as the bronzer. I've been on this cream craze and I've just been wanting to try all the cream bronzers and highlighters and blushes that I can find. So I decided to bite the bullet and buy two of these new products that no one knew nothing about. <laughs> I got the color Rose Latte and Fuego Flush. A lot of people have been talking about the size of these products they are small i'm not gonna lie they're pretty small but i'm all right with that these retail for 20 dollars each this is the packaging they just say cream on it and on the back they have their colors i got fuego flush and rose latte fuego flush is a really pretty tangerine with shimmer i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys i just got it today so i haven't been able to really play with them i do have fuego flush on my cheeks right now but you can barely tell it's like the base of it these products i feel may work better if you're not gonna put powder on top since i have oily skin i really do have to set with a powder but maybe in the summertime if i'm going to the beach or something that blush will be beautiful to wear and rose latte will be what i will wear during the every day so it's really pretty it feels so smooth i love the shimmer and fuego flush i love a good rng blush and this rose latte can if you focus it more towards like the back of your face you can probably get like a nice blush bronzer in one if your skin tone will allow that like i said a lot of people are complaining about the size of them i think it's fine they have three grams in each which is about the same size as their mini highlighters that they came out with that come in those sets with the lip glosses. These actually have less product than the cream blushes though. These have 2.5 grams. I will also compare it to the Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge for Lips and Cheeks. This has 3.7 grams. This is such a beautiful color, but I don't use cream blush all the time. So that's why I feel like that value that Fenty is giving us is... A, a good value you know try it out see if you like it next product that I have is from Charlotte Tilbury this is her complexion perfecting micro powder this is the packaging oh, I love her packaging it's like so simple but just so nice 
and the actual product itself is great so i got mine in the shade medium too i got this yesterday i believe so i was able to use it yesterday and today i haven't gathered my final thoughts powders are a little different since i do have oily skin i really need to pay attention and i haven't been so i can't give you guys my real thoughts on it but the packaging is stunning and it does feel like a very fine powder so i do like that about it maybe to set my under eyes i will definitely try it out a few different ways and get back to you guys on what i think the next product that i picked up was from lancome this is the prep and matte primer it is a refreshing mattifying makeup primer for all day hydration it looks like this I did I was able to try this for like the last week or so and I'm a little disappointed I like I said I have oily skin and I feel like this didn't really help control my oil and I really wanted it to if I could return it, if Sephora was open I would I honestly don't want to go through the whole online return thing so I'm just gonna keep it and use it but for how much was this a little cheat sheet that I'm using over here but this was $35 and I really expected more from this product so that's kind of a dud for me already <laughs> moving on the next thing i picked up was another laura mercier product no <laughs> this is nars <laughs> this is nars radiant creamy concealer this is in the shade custard medium one this is a cult favorite here on youtube land it just looks like this it's a very sleek tubing as you know nars's packaging is very crisp and clean and just it, it looks luxurious and even though they're not the cheapest brands like it still looks like you paid way more than what you actually did in my opinion at least and i love black so it already sold me there i did try this concealer many years ago when i first got into makeup and i do remember liking it but i don't have my full thoughts on it so i want to use it again and see how i really feel about it but since i have a lot of concealers open my makeup collection is back there but if i have so many concealers open that i don't want to open up a new one and risk it going bad before i'm able to use it up so when i do open that up i will let you guys know what i think about it if it's still the same as before the same thought as before at least the next thing i picked up is this huda beauty matte and metal liquid eyeshadow this is in the shade cashmere robe and penthouse suit it just looks like this this is the matte side and this is the metal side. The wand of it is like a doe foot applicator. So it just looks like that. So you just kind of like stamp it on your eye and take a brush or your fingers, whichever you feel more comfortable with and just blend it out. And that color, I love those taupey colors. Definitely a warm tone girl at heart, but I do love me a good taupe color. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch the metal side which that shimmer is stunning and this applicator is more of like a brush applicator so if you want to create like a glitter line like when you're doing a cut crease then that will make it easier to be able to finesse it so that's it right there I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out for you guys ah oh my god stunning I'm obsessed already the next thing i picked up is the laura mercier caviar stick eye color this is in the color plum i bought her little holiday set a couple years back that they had these caviar sticks in mini form and i love that set like i would definitely just throw some of that on with a wing eyeliner mascara and lashes and keep it moving they're just so shimmery and gorgeous definitely recommend them if you are able to purchase one and willing to spend the $30 that it costs I got like I said I got mine in the shade plum so it just looks like that it's a very pretty purple color which I thought would be great to use as a base for smoky eyes which I'm notorious for doing I love me a good smoky eye and I feel like this will be the perfect base to really intensify it but it's not black like I'm not just putting a black base down it has it will be able to provide that little shift the next thing i picked up or these are the last two things actually these are both from charlotte tilbury this is the charlotte tilbury pillow talk lip kit this is teeny tiny this was 25 dollars and it's teeny tiny i mean the packaging is cute but it's, it's so tiny <laughs> this little set was 25 dollars and you get the pillow talk lip liner and the pillow talk lipstick now if you love this set don't come for me <laughs> but it is a beautiful color 
don't get me wrong not on my skin though it does not look flattering on my skin tone this is something i'm gonna give to my mom so she just got an additional mother's day gift you're welcome but this is it's swatched right here they're the exact same color I will probably keep the lip liner because I do like the lip liner, but I wasn't a fan of the lipstick. Smooth application. They both glide on my lips so nicely. So I am interested in trying more of her formulas and her colors that she provides. So I did pick up the Matte Revolution lipstick. This was a point perk, so I just used like 100 points. And this is in the shade Pillow. Not Pillow Talk, but Pillow is if you can believe tinier than the tiny lipstick that came in that set it's like couldn't you have just given me this okay <laughs> but this is in the shade pillow and it is a color that i would be a little bit more inclined to use it is right here so it is a bit darker than pillow talk and a bit more mauvier which i do like in a lipstick so i'm excited to try this one out to see if this is a lipstick shade that would work better for me and if you're wondering on my lips i have ofra's miami heat on this was in collaboration with kathleen lights i don't like orange lipsticks but i do like this one and i feel like it vibed well with this blue look i have going on that was my sephora haul i will keep you guys updated on what i think of these products and how they've been working for me or not but i wanted to do a dual video in one and unbox my boxy charm which i have already unboxed and I have some thoughts for you guys. So this is my BoxyCharm box. This has been around, running around my room for like a week now. I couldn't muster up the energy to film a video, like let alone do my makeup and stuff. So <laughs> sorry if this is too little too late, but I do have BoxyCharm Premium. So this is my BoxyCharm. If you didn't already know, BoxyCharm has three tiers or levels and they range in prices from 25, 35, or 50 dollars a month. I didn't get a card this month, which sucks because I couldn't see the value. I will read off the value of each product because I had to go search for it individually and let you know, but come on Boxy, we, we gotta do a little better. This is like the second month or third month in a row that I didn't get the cute little card. Even if I throw it away in two seconds, I wanna be able to get the card. Anyway, the first thing that I got was these Baddington brushes this is like a dual brush set this is the box for it i did use these i did receive my boxy last week as well so i was able to play with all the products in here for the most part so i have some thoughts for you guys this set is worth 90 dollars. let me let me tell you why i think that's bullshit excuse my language who was gonna pay $90 for two brushes? Like not even Hourglass or Kevin Aquan or Dior or Chanel have brushes that expensive, at least that I know of. I mean, they're good brushes. They're soft. This brush I use for with my Fenty bronzer, the cream bronzer, which is perfect for just getting here and giving me like that nice bronze. And then this brush I use, this is the powder brush. This one I use for, you know, powder, bronzer and i'll just go ahead and go over my fenty cream bronzer and i do like it i love the shape of it it feels so soft but not worth 90 dollars. i wouldn't pay it glad i got it in my box but i wouldn't pay it the next thing i got that really made the box for me was the chocolate soleil or chocolate gold bronzer this is from Too faced this is a bronzer that i've always wanted to pick up and i never did I just never got around to it. I was never interested enough, even when they were on sale for $15 at Ulta. But it is such a pretty bronzer. As you can see, I really went to town on it. It is, it has gold shimmer running through, but the shimmer particles aren't big, so you're not just having glitter on your face, but instead a nice sheen. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys. It's pigmented, it's luminous, it's dark enough, as you can see, it's darker than the Laura Mercier one I swatched earlier but it is beautiful and I feel like for the summertime this is going to be a go-to bronzer for me the next thing I got in my boxy charm was this Kevin Aquan the expert mascara it was either this product or the Too Faced natural matte palette which I really wanted to get because I do like palettes and I'm not a big fan of getting mascara in subscription boxes even though boxycharm has put me on to the it cosmetic superhero mascara that is one of my all-time favorite mascaras and if you don't know about it 
go get a sample and try it out. But this mascara is pretty good. I used it twice and I did like it. So this is the wand. It's like short and curved, but it gives you the flexibility to use all angles of this brush to get all your lashes, like your lower lashes, your top lashes, the ends, the inner corners. Does anyone else smell mascara or is it just me? I mean, it smells good. It smells like a, a good mascara. <laughs> but I do like the packaging. It's sleek and gold. And this is another good mascara. This was $29. I don't think that I would spend $29 on this mascara, but I'm glad that I was able to try it out. We'll see if it becomes a cult fave. And if I forgot to mention, the Too Faced bronzer was $30. The next thing I got is the Sugar Rush Best Bud Lip Butter Balm. And this is a sister brand of Tarte. And this is how it looks. Isn't it so cute? It has like a yellow flower up top. It smells like vanilla. It's like a light pink. I have been using it every night. And I like it. I mean, a lip balm is a lip balm to me. But, I mean, it smells good. I don't like putting my fingers into lip balms and applying them on my lips. I think that's so annoying because most of the time I do have acrylic nails on and I feel like it's just tedious to go in with my nail and so that's why I prefer sticks but I do like the smell of it and it does really moisturize my lips so I like that. The next thing I got is the Milk Makeup Glow Oil Lip and Cheek. This is in the shade Astro. This one doesn't really have a smell. I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys it looks intimidating like I would be scared to put this on my cheeks but when you swatch it you can definitely see that it is much more manageable and you are able to tone it down or intensify it to your liking I haven't tried this on my face yet so I don't know how it wears or how it feels applying and you know blending out but I will let you guys know once I do. The last thing I got in my boxy charm is this Kat Von D Inkwell liner. This is in the shade Dark Wave. It's a very pretty blue color. This retails for $20, but is on sale at Sephora right now for $10. And I can see why. Oh, I definitely, I know I definitely forgot to mention the prices of these two products were $12. Now, BoxyCharm Premium guarantees you six to seven full size items, and this is a deluxe size. I know the bigger sizes run for like $25, $30, and they're double the size of this. So it's kind of false advertisement for this month, at least that I've noticed. And you know, you'd never want to like lie to your to the consumers that are purchasing things from you. It doesn't really bother me, but I can't see how it can bother somebody else. So that should have been a base item and then the hourglass stick should have been a premium item and that's something that was received in the base box. Back to this eyeliner. This is shit. I can see why it's $10. It is so bad. I have it on now. I did my liquid eyeliner with it but it was so annoying to get it on. It was dry. It was crumbly. I shook it. So many I'm gonna shake it right now and swatch it for you guys oh now I got a whole bubble it just spilled all over my floor and all over my finger this is a no this is going straight to the garbage I wanted to like it I thought it was such a beautiful color but after after this happened now I, I definitely don't want it so I did some math while I was away cleaning my finger and the floor basically and the box comes out to about $200, a little bit over $200, I didn't get the exact number. But I hope you guys enjoyed my video, please stay tuned for more content that will be coming. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you know when I post. And be sure to interact with me on the, in the comments below and follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok because I'm going to start making some TikTok videos since there is nothing else to do. See you later. Bye.